Hey, good morning guys. Welcome to another episode with Natural Soap Man here on the Natural Soap Man channel. Here I have another review guys and I just want to say guys, I'm super excited about this one. I've been waiting forever for deodorants <laughs> and been waiting forever for Dot Squatch to drop a new soap man. So I'm really, really excited. In this review, we're going to be focusing on the Fresh Falls, which is Dr. Squash's new soap, man. At the time of purchasing, uh, excuse me, purchasing this soap, you could only get this soap by purchasing the entire deodorant bundle. This is the entire deodorant bundle. This is what you get. Three deodorant sticks, three bars of soap. And I thought that was kind of a bummer, man. But since then, because I just recently got this in the mail, since then they have changed it to where you can only now you can get it in your subscription but I still haven't seen nothing where you can buy it straight up so that's kind of lessens the blow but at first I was like man that's 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 disappointing man I, I don't like I didn't like that at all so that's definitely it was a bummer at the time so I was like man I figured if if you got to get the bundle just to get this soap I might as well just go over the whole bundle just kind of look at it and show you guys what you're gonna get because if you might have been in the boat with me and you might not have got in the mail yet I don't know or you might just want the bundle and you're looking to get it as a gift you know because Christmas is right around the corner I totally understand so let's take a look at the bundle and then we'll actually review the soap fresh falls so let's get right into it guys as you can tell as I mentioned before we have three deodorants and three bars of soap in the deodorant bundle we get the nautical set alpine sage excuse me <laughs> the fresh falls and the bay room now if you've seen any of my other prior reviews you know that these two i absolutely love the bay room it's one of my personal favorites it's i love the bay room uh the alpine sage is a personal favorite of mine it's one of the it is their first soap i've ever used by dr squatch so in terms of the soaps you get in the bundle are awesome you know obviously i didn't use or try the fresh fall so i really can't comment on that one too much but um from what i've seen so far it looks like a really great addition so in terms of soap and what you're getting good choices you know no complaints here i don't know anything about the deodorants i have not used them i would say i would tell you this i have like it's hard for me to use the odor like a lot of deals I can't use, man. They, I'm very sensitive on the armpits, dude. Like a lot of those commercial deodorants, whatever, bro, they will burn. They burn me. My, my armpits get red, dude. Like sometimes, like some even make my skin peel, dude. That's like, oh, dude, like that's not normal, bro. That's not healthy. Hell no. So, but the problem with natural, a lot of natural deodorants, man, is like, bro, nine out of ten of them don't work. I, I can't find them that work. And I, so I. I that's probably one of the reasons why I don't review them. Because it's like, I, I don't feel comfortable re recommending any deodorant that's naturally and all natural made. They don't last. I, you put them for like two two hours and two hours later, dude, you smell like booty. It's like, no. So I don't know. I hope these work. I, By all goodness, please work. <laughs> but I've never tried them, so I don't know if they work. I don't even know how they smell yet. So... Like I said, I figure if we're going into review, we might as well just take a look at everything. We know how the soap smells, so I'm gonna just put these over here. And let's start with Alpine, and I'm gonna go this way. I don't wanna smell this one yet, because I wanna smell the soap first, so I'm just gonna, I might say that to the end. So let's go ahead and look at the bottle. As you can tell, it's got like this real amber color. It looks like a, those old coffees, coffee, uh, cough syrup. Yeah, cough syrup medicine bottles that like got that amber color. You know, I wonder if that's, I wonder if that's like because if like sunlight hits the deodorant, like it, it messes with it chemically. I wonder, but it just might be a look for aesthetics. It looks cool. It's heavier than I thought it would be. According to here, it says, um, it's a 2.65 ounce stick of deodorant. That's actually bigger than a lot of deodorants you'll find at the store. A lot of those square ones, they do that to make it look like you get more deodorant than you actually are. It's a, it's a marketing thing, I think. But what the hell? It has this like plastic thing and I can't get it off. Two. 
my gosh. See how it smells. And it's twist at the top. <laughs> it looks like a big glue stick. <laughs> or some uh, lipstick, right? Uh, oh, that's not bad. That smells good. Okay. That's cool. That smells, that smells pretty good. Yeah. Um, does it smell like the soap? Kinda. Kinda. Not really. But it smells good. Nevertheless, it smells actually really good. So that's cool. It smells good. Ingredients wise, it says that it has like charcoal to fight odor, um, arrowroot that helps absorb the moisture, uh, probiotics to restore balance, and is natural odor squatching system. Science. Science. Don't question it. Let's go to the bay room. Dude, that smells like bubble gum. No, that really smells like bubble gum. That straight up smells like that's bubble gum. That does not smell like bay. That does not smell like the bar soap at all. It's straight up. It straight up smells exactly like bubble gum. It smells like a stick of bubble gum. Like the uh, like the double bubble. Is that what it is? Double bubble. Whatever that that pink that um those little pink things, little pink bubble gum things you get. Yeah, those little bags that last like two seconds. Then tastes like butt. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Those? Yeah. That's exactly what it smells like. That is so interesting. Not expecting it at all. <laughs> but nothing about that smells anything like the bar soap. Doesn't smell bad. Just smells like bubble. Smells like bubble gum. If you want to smell like a stick of bubble gum. Sweet deal. So now that we looked at those, now we can focus on the, the main event, uh, the Fresh Falls. Yeah, I'm gonna save this to the end. I don't want it to spoil the smell of the soap because I haven't smelled it yet. So let's move to the next part of the video and actually look at the bar soap and begin our actual review of the soap. All right, cool deal. So we have the Fresh Falls. This is Dr. Squatch's latest and newest bar soap. So I'm really, really excited. Man, I'm, I'm all, I love Dr. Squatch. I use them. That's the match bar soap I mostly use. So I can't wait to really try this in. I already got them in my subscription. So. But uh, let's go ahead and y'all know how I do. Let's start and look at the packaging. As always, Dr. Squatch has those really nice, cool, compact cardboard cutouts, man. They look, always look so cool. Always love their logo. Yeah, uh, cool. Fresh Falls. It's a five ounce bar of soap, as always. It's, in, it's called a forest waterfall. Cool. Cool, though. So. Some of the ingredients, some of the ingredients being listed here are Alaskan mineral clay, lichen moss, indigo powder, and sea salt. And of course, obviously has shea butter and olive oil, palm oil, and coconut oil. So, but now that we looked at the packaging, let's move on to the next part of the video where we're actually gonna take a look at the soap itself. So let's move on to the next part. All right, now that we looked at the packaging, let's go ahead and take this bad boy out. Let me break the seal. It's apparently a uh, kid proof. Oh, what? Oh, look at that. Oh, dude, look at that. That looks cool, huh? Oh, I, I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring y'all in on this one. This one looks cool. So I, I really like like the the blue and like the I, it's like not white, but it's like this um, grayish kind of tannish look it's got these real natural swirls this one looks cool man it's probably the coolest looking one so far i've had i just like the design in it that's one of the things i love about uh naturals man they all look they always look different you know they're all handmade you know and uh, i love that i love i really do appreciate about that aspect of natural soaps man it just heightens the natural experience and that's so cool here and I can, and it's it's got the. I tell you what, the fragrance here is popping because I can smell it from here. And let me tell you something. I like what I'm getting so far, but hold on now. So, all right, guys. Now that we looked at the soap, let's go ahead and move on to the next part of the video where we're actually gonna give it a little sniff test and see how this baby smells. Okay, awesome. Now that we looked at the bar of soap, let's let's actually smell this bad boy and I see what we're working with. I love it. Okay. Okay. I like this. This one makes me immediately reminds me of the cool fresh aloe. 
Allo, aloe, Allo, aloe vera, ala. That flipping word, dude. Cool fresh ala. Definitely reminds me of cool fresh ala. It's just a very refreshing, nice, cool, even revitalizing smell. It, it really, it makes me think of the time when uh, I used to live out in Oregon in Washington. And I used to uh, work on this cruise ship, right? And we would travel along the Columbia River, back and forth. And then we'd go into the Snake River. And basically we'd ping pong back and forth between Astoria, all the way go all the way to Lewiston. And what's it, Clarkston? Clarkston, Lewis, Clarkston, Lewiston, all right next to each other. Uh, basically the border of Idaho. And, there's, and along the way, we would stop in these like little towns along the river. And there was one town in very particular that I uh, absolutely loved. I'll never forget the little town. It's called Stevenson, Washington. It is absolutely one of the most charming, gorgeous little towns you're ever going to see. Essentially, to quickly describe it, it is a little, it's basically this really small town, man. <laughs> you might have a population of a couple hundred. <laughs> I don't really know. Maybe a thousand, two thousand, maybe. I don't know. It's very, very small. But it was along this river, and um, it was kind of like made along this up these mountain hills. It kind of elevated up and up and up. And across the river was just this, just this range of mountains, green mountains, man, that just would go up like that. And the trees would just line it. It was just sensational, man. And then down the river, there was this, just this metal bridge like in every movie you'll ever see was, the bridge was actually called the bridge of the gods uh, fascinating story behind that well, how it got its name it was actually based on the mountains and the area and then it was the native americans named it um because they they actually believed that the mountains were gods and so forth and uh, very fascinating story but there was time where we would go on these excursions and when you work in there, man, you worked on those cruise ships. There, you didn't have a whole lot of time to yourself. You had a couple hours to unwind and take in the sights and go eat the local cuisine and um, or whatever you decide to do in your little couple hours of break. Well, one time I remember I've been there for months at this point, and the hotel manager we called him the hotel manager that was like basically the manager that oversaw everybody because essentially. It's a hotel on a boat, essentially, cruises are. And he pulls me aside and they ask me if I wanted to go, if I want to participate in one of these uh, excursions. I was a hard worker and you know, I've been there for a while and I was a good, you know, I did my job and I, I'm real kind, I was very good at what I did. And so it was kind of like an award, a reward, if you will. And I said, absolutely, of course, of course. So I got to go on this excursion with with the people on the boat and I made friends with a lot of them and uh, so we all hung out and we got to go in this area called the Minotma Falls and we, we took this ride man along the highway along the Columbia River and man it was absolutely just gorgeous green 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 just trees and the river you had like these mountains and just as far as your eye can see perfection Pure beauty, pure beauty. Some of the most beautiful country I've ever seen. I've, and I've, tra I've done some traveling in my time. You know, I've, I've been to different parts of the country and that was, I can honestly say that's some of the most beautiful country I've ever been in my life. If you've never been in Northwest Pacific, please find a way to just for once, I don't care if it's a week, two weeks, I don't care, take that trip. Well, we get to the waterfalls, well, we finally get to Manoma Falls and it's there's just this one, uh, big old waterfall and there's other waterfalls but there's just one main attraction it's tall and we get to the to what the waterfall I get up close I'm by myself along with the other passengers and there's these bridges that kind of go this way and that way and um, we get to the waterfall and I remember the waterfall being so close I could feel the mist on my face sensation it's one of the just the most refreshing, revitalizing feelings I've ever had. And the senses, the aromas, you know, there's nothing like it. Truly special, 
a life experience, if you will. It, it could be, right? And that makes me think of it. It kind of makes me, that makes me uh, think of those, you know, those, those scents, you know. Good job. I would say that. Good job. It makes me, reminds me of that time, you know. Obviously, this pales in comparison, I'm not going to lie to you, but it reminds me of it. That, you know, I think it's the cool, the refreshing smells. It makes me feel happy. So, that's cool. That's a really cool feeling, and I uh, don't get that very often. So, but anyway, guys, I apologize for uh, going on a rant there. I don't really do that, but uh, that's what, man. I might be. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's really cool. I'll say this: if you like the cool, fresh aloe, you're you're really gonna like this one. Yeah, this is a good addition. Give this one a try. Put this in your subscription, man. So. Well, my friends, now that we gave it a good sniff test, let's move on. Let's do a little lather test, and then we'll bring it back. How about that? So, let's move. On. All right, my friends, let's go ahead and do the lather test for the Fresh Falls. We're going to start with the hands. Get some water. Okay. As you can tell, it's a very good lather. Very strong, very solid. Barely even, <laughs> barely rub my hands on it. Super solid lather. So let's go ahead and move to the face gloss now. Go ahead and wet up the, go ahead and wet up the towel a little bit. All right, let's give it a little rub. You know, lather. Barely even rub, dude. Look. All right, sweet deal, guys. Now that we saw how the soap lathers with our hands, our skin, and also versus the face cloth, let's go ahead and get back to the review so we can get some concluding thoughts here. So let's go. All right, my friends. Now that we're done with the lather test and we've seen how the soap lathers with our hands and then the face cloth, let's go ahead and move on to the final part of the video where we're going to start wrapping this up. But before we do that, I said I wanted to go back and smell the deodorant of the Fresh Falls, and I'm going to do that right now. So. Let's go ahead and uh, crank this bad boy open. Uh, remove the uh, impenetrable uh, force field. Uh, God dang it. This one actually smells like the bar of soap. Which, which uh, I appreciate that, thank you. <laughs> Unlike the bay rum, <laughs> smells like a stick of bubble gum. The Alpine Sage smells good, it just doesn't smell like the soap. This one, the fresh water actually smells just like the bar of soap, so that's cool, I appreciate that, that's cool. I don't know, like, again, I don't know how the deodorants work. I didn't use them, I haven't tried them yet. I guess I don't really, re I don't review deodorants, man. I don't, that's not my thing here. Um, but I don't mind coming back and just giving y'all a quick update. I'll maybe do like a really short video just saying, hey guys, they work. Or another video saying, hey guys, they don't work. <laughs> Let's wrap it up. Let's talk about what we do know. One, I love the packaging. Two, I adore the way the bar soap looks. The soap looks awesome the blue and like this uh almost stone grayish almost a uh, tan type of a uh, swirl mixture of colors that looks awesome dude. that's an awesome looking cool aesthetic going on now in terms of the lather the lather is awesome and they all awesome not surprised about that at all all the dr squash shows lather very well now in the smell is incredible i really 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 like them i think if you like the cool fresh ala Man, you're really gonna like this one. I think you might even like this one more than that one. And I really like that one. There's just a little more edge to this one, man. And I also think it might be more personal biasy here, not gonna lie to you. It just really reminds me of a really cool time in my life, and that's pretty powerful. In terms of how it feels on my skin, I have not used this soap yet. However, having used having been using Dr. Squatch for seven months now. I have no complaints. They all make my skin very soft. Make my skin just look healthy and normal and I got legs. Uh, I know it's like my back, I don't get like a, as much, ac I don't get acne, I guess, if you will. Like, I get occasional like blackhead, you know what I mean? Like that. But other than that, I mean, that is almost virtually gone. So, just speaking on experience, I have no reason to believe that this won't also work on your skin as well. Or 
do well, I should say. Let's wrap this up right now. In terms of recommendations, this absolutely gets a thumbs up. It's a solid, super strong recommendation. And this gets a natural soap man seal of approval, guys. Put this in your lineup. Buy it, you know. I'm not going to say go buy the bundle. Um, for 50 bucks, don't do it. That is, that's, it's not worth that. It's just a soap. Don't buy it. Don't, don't. Now, this could be a cool gift if you want to make a gift or you just want a lot of deodorants. Maybe. You know, but if you're just trying to get this soap, you're better off just subscribing, get, you know, getting a, a subscription or whatever, and just putting this bar in that subscription. Because I don't, I still don't think you can buy the bar straight up. I could be wrong. Um, but because they, they are constantly, they, they've been changing and updating it. They updated since I, I, since I made this video, right? But please don't buy the bundle for this soap. Don't do that. That's, I had to do it because it obviously, channel dude you know that's it other than that i would have never done it like it ain't worth that but if the soap ever comes to a point where you can buy it for seven dollars oh my god bring it home slam dunk buy the soap it is awesome if you're a subscriber put it in your subscription bro put it in your lineup this could be one of your staples easily so but all right guys with that being said man that concludes this review i hope you enjoyed it man if you did Go ahead and consider leaving a like, leaving some comments for feedback, and uh, share sharing to your friends and family, anyone who actually could use some value or needs this, you know, who thinks we can also enjoy it, you know, and uh, all the support and love, man, I appreciate it, no doubt about it, so, with that being said, guys, I'll see you next Tuesday, this is Natural Soap Man, I'm signing out, peace. All the red light.